it's something that I noticed on uh, the Luciferian Research Society, uh, this discussion, you know, uh, what's the difference between Luciferianism and Satanism? Um, this is a question I've heard asked many, many times over the years, and normally the answers are atrocious. <laughs> um, if you have time, um, I'd like to explain the difference by pointing out to your listeners um, two basic symbols of uh, Luciferianism, or three basic symbols, the serpent, Prometheus, and Jesus, the Christos. The serpent, uh, what does he give? What does he do? Gives the knowledge. Yeah, to whom? Eve. Well, he gave it to Eve, being the mother of man. Um, the serpent gave us knowledge. He gave us wisdom to know, uh, to be our God, to know our God. And he was punished for it. Prometheus, he gave man fire. And he was punished for it. Uh, the Christos gave us means of salvation, and he was punished for it. Mm -hmm. uh, the principal point I'm trying to make is, Luciferianism is based on the concept of benefiting mankind, advancing mankind. It's very different to a satanic concept, which is basically an egoistical, uh, a self-obsessed concept, which is benefiting the self. And that is a huge difference between uh, the two paradigms. Also, you have the, uh, the concepts of the afterlife, the Satan of not showing you uh, the same ideas. Um, there's one brilliant uh, example for me of a Luciferian, and that's Beethoven. Beethoven was an arrogant, cantankerous bastard who hated people on an individual basis, but he spent his entire life with this belief in the brotherhood of man, the, uh, for the benefit of mankind. I mean, you know, when he used uh, Schiller's Andy Freuder, the Ode to Joy, this was his gift to mankind. And I, I would like to say to Luciferians, you know, be hedonistic, be narcissistic, be as superior as you want, but ultimately you are supposed to be giving back for the future of mankind. You're supposed to be freeing them of their slavery, their bonds, and giving them something which will advance them. <laughs> 